Catherine Bach is a well-known actress best known for her role as the vivacious and voluptuous Daisy Duke in Dukes of Hazard. Now at age 69, Bach has chosen to share her personal journey with weight and wellness as well as love and loss. Join us as Facts First presents Catherine Bach addresses her weight transformation at 69 years old. Her husband's death the tragic loss of Catherine Bach's beloved husband, Peter Lopez, in 2010 marked a significant turning point in her life. A prominent music attorney in the industry, Lopez was the backbone of their family, and his death at his own hands at age 60 shook Bach to her core. This grief led to a personal struggle for Bach, one that echoed in the quiet spaces of their family home. In the years following his death, Bach admitted to gaining weight, a physical manifestation of the pain she was working through. A self-professed athlete, Bach had always embraced a fit and active lifestyle, including three hours of daily dance, hiking, and swimming. But the emotional tumult from her personal tragedy led her to gain significant weight, shifting her once athletic figure. Despite the immense pain she's gone through, Bach has remained positive and accepting of her body changes, understanding the intricate connection between emotional health and physical wellness. Working through the profound anguish of losing her closest ally, Bach pushed herself to move forward. By 2016, she was spotted vacationing in Hawaii with her children, engaging in physical activities like running, yoga, swimming, and rowing. This shift marked her conscious decision to reclaim her health and fitness. Fast forward to 2023, and Bach, at 69, looks radiant, commanding admiration from fans on her social media platforms. Her ever-supportive and adoring fans applaud her ageless beauty, asserting the notion that true grace transcends time and hardship. Despite the ups and downs life has thrown her way, Bach stands as a symbol of strength and determination. She's opened up about her husband's death. Catherine Bach has spoken openly about the death of her husband Peter Lopez on a couple occasions. In an interview with Entertainment Tonight in 2012, two years after his death, Bach candidly shared her experience. She described her confusion and shock at the unexpected loss, saying, That's what's so crazy. There were no signs. Peter didn't drink and he didn't take drugs. Bach told E.T.'s Nancy O'Dell she held no anger towards her husband, expressing her unconditional love and trust for him. She further conveyed the deep impact of the loss on their daughters and her efforts to help them heal, stating, quote, My girls and I do grief therapy. I think it's very important to heal from something like this. In another interview with the Huffington Post in 2013, Bach revealed more about her life after the tragic event. She mentioned how she and her oldest daughter read many books in an attempt to understand why this happened, considering the fact that Lopez didn't struggle with substance abuse and their family was financially stable. Bach noted that some research made sense to her, particularly the suggestion that unexplained instances of people taking their own lives could be traced to childhood abuse hinting at possible struggles her husband had faced in his formative years. Bach further described the day of her husband's death in detail, emphasizing how normal it started with the routine act of affirming their love for each other before he took their daughters to school. She had seen signs of anxiety in her husband, particularly around high-profile deals he was working on, but she attributed it to professional stress. Bach did not fully understand the extent of the situation, until she heard the gunshot from their property, at which point she called 911. Her process of grieving involved confronting her depression and supporting her daughters. In the first year following her husband's death, she was in a state of immobilizing shock, barely sleeping and forgetting to breathe at times. Despite the emotional toll, she told HuffPost, quote, the person that wants to keep their family intact, that's just a natural response. You have no other choice but to be strong. Even in the midst of her grief, she returned to work a couple of years after the incident, taking a role on the long-running soap The Young and the Restless on CBS, which she described as a challenge, but also a way of moving forward. In the aftermath, Bach emphasized the importance of supporting each other and grieving as a family unit. She mentioned how their priest visited them frequently, and they found comfort in the company of their friends. She also commended the support of CBS, her previous employer, for offering help immediately after the incident and eventually providing her with an opportunity to return to work. Bach's New Look 
In recent years, Catherine Bach has been making headlines for her surprising transformation. Bach, who was once renowned for her fit physique and athletic lifestyle, experienced a significant weight gain following the tragic death of her husband. But it's been clear that Bach remains committed to her active lifestyle as she continued to participate in activities like yoga, running, and biking. At age 69, Bach surprised her fans with an entirely new look at the 16th annual George Lopez Foundation Celebrity Golf Classic pre-party in LA in April of 2023. She appeared beautiful and youthful, showing off her curves in a tight black dress, paired with silver high heels and a matching shiny shoulder bag. Her stunning appearance garnered immense praise from fans. In February of 2023, Bach made a dazzling appearance at the City of Trees Parade in Sacramento, where her followers showered her with comments praising her look. Despite the years that have passed since she popularized the Daisy Dukes in the 1980s, Bach continues to captivate people with charm and charisma, revealing a truly inspiring new look for the world to see. She's still going strong. Despite dealing with great hardship, especially in the realm of her personal life, Catherine Bach has maintained a resilient career and thriving personal life over the years. After leaving her memorable mark on pop culture through Daisy Duke and even having her legs insured for a million dollars, Bach proved she was more than just a TV actress. Following her stint on the Dukes of Hazard, she transitioned into entrepreneurship, launching a line of diamond jewelry at Debenhams, which has significantly contributed to her current net worth of $10 million. Not only did she dip her toes into the business world, but Bach also continued acting, earning credits intermittently through the years. At age 69, Bach continues to turn heads with her good looks, which played a significant part in her fame during the Dukes of Hazard era. She's even credited with adding a new word to our collective lexicon. Her portrayal of Daisy Duke made the term Daisy Dukes synonymous with very short shorts. Despite the challenges of aging in the entertainment industry, Bach has managed to remain relevant and active. One notable role post Dukes of Hazard was her stint on The Young and the Restless from 2012 to 2019. She also made an appearance in the TV series Hawaii 5.0 in 2015 and the 2016 TV movie My Best Friends. Recognizing the precarious nature of an acting career, particularly for older actors, Bach diversified her income sources by launching her business. She also runs a store named Daisy Country that sells her jewelry, clothing, and memorabilia. At age 69, she's in a better place than ever, maintaining her relevance and success while embracing new ventures. Despite stepping away from Hollywood, she's managed to keep her legacy alive and thriving through her entrepreneurial pursuits. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Bach as Daisy Duke? Let us know in the comments section below.